hello students very most important topic oxidation of organic chemistry oxidation of organic chemistry very very most important for neat and iit je first one is now oxidation of organic compounds oxidation of organic compound strong oxidizing agents what are the strong oxidizing agents strong oxidizing agents are kmno4 potassium permanganate nesdic medium and basic medium and neutral medium it is very very most important first of strong oxidizing agent is potassium permanganate and second one is potassium dichromate k2cr2o7 by in acidic medium first one is oxidation these are the oxidizing reagents these mainly oxidation of alcohols oxidation of alcohols first one of oxidation of primary alcohols when primary alcohols reaction with potassium permanganate potassium permanganate to form aldehydes in first step is aldehyde then aldehyde is converted into acid in the presence of kmno4 first primary alcohols on oxidation to give aldehydes then second step then again aldehydes again oxidation to give carboxylic acids primary alcohols on oxidation with potassium permanganate to give aldehydes and carboxylic acids then secondary alcohols secondary alcohols secondary alcohols on react with potassium permanganate kmno4 to give ketones secondary alcohols on oxidation with potassium permanganate or kmno4 to give acetone only and further step is no reaction acetone cannot oxidized with potassium permanganate acetone cannot oxidize with potassium permanganate so here so only secondary alcohols it gives only ketones only so secondary alcohol example 2 hydroxy propane or secondary alcohol kmno4 to give acetone acetone further oxidation state there is no reaction so here secondary alcohols oxidized with potassium permanganate it gives only ketones only then tertiary alcohols tertiary alcohols cannot oxidize with kmno4 or k2cr2o7 it is very very most important students tertiary alcohols cannot oxidize with potassium permanganate or k2cr2o7 these are the very very most important aldehydes is converted into acid then acid aldehydes converted to acid example kmno4 to give acid these are the very most important students next one now <coughs> form of formic acid also formic acid also on oxidized with kmno4 to give carbon dioxide plus water formic acid also oxidized with potassium permanganate to give carbon dioxide plus water it is also very most important next topic is now alkenes alkenes oxidize with kmno4 alkenes oxidize with kmno4 it also give acids alkenes also oxidize with potassium permanganate or k2cr2o7 potassium dichromate to give acids example now take the this double bond cleavage 2 butene 2 butene reaction with kmno4 to give first step is aldehyde is form in first step is aldehyde is form two moles of aldehydes so double bond cleavage from here this 2 butene oxidized with kmno4 to give first step is as aldehyde here two moles of aldehyde is form then aldehyde again oxidize with kmno4 to give acids these are the very very most important students alkenes also oxidized with potassium permanganate then now next one alkynes also alkyne also oxidized with potassium permanganate or k2cr2o7 to to give acids alkenes and alkynes also oxidized with potassium permanganate or k2cr2o7 to give acids these are the very most important students these are the strong oxidizing strong oxidizing agent now next one next one is moderate oxidizing reagents moderate oxidizing reagents what are the moderate oxidizing reagents that is moderate oxidizing reagents are pcc moderate oxidizing reagents are pcc or pc moderate oxidizing reagents are pcc that is pyridium chlorochromate pyridium chlorochromate that formula is c5 c5h5 nhcl cro3 
these are these are the P moderate oxidizing reagents pcc and pdc also pdc also moderate oxidizing reagents moderate oxidizing reagents and next one cholines cholines also moderate oxidizing reagents cholines also cholines also oxidizing reagents these are the main important moderate oxidizing reagents moderate oxidizing reagents next one now very most important one that is jones reagents also jones reagent also moderate oxidizing reagents jones reagents that is what is the role jones reagent cro3 with dilute hclo4 in acetone in acetone cro3 with dilute h2so4 in acetone these are the these are jones reagent this is a jones reagent according to jones reagent it gives only secondary and primary alcohols these all are the moderately oxidizing reagents it gives only it oxidizes only primary alcohols and secondary alcohols only primary alcohols and oxidation to give aldehydes primary alcohols and oxidation to give aldehyde then aldehydes again an oxidation to give acids these are the zone reagents primary alcohol and oxidation to give aldehydes and secondary alcohols and oxid sorry primary alcohol and oxidation to give aldehyde and further oxidation to give acids secondary alcohols it gives only ketones secondary alcohols on oxidation to give ketones then further step is no reaction ketones cannot oxidized with jones reagent ketones of cannot oxidize it with ketones these are the important moderate reagents students next some important moderate reagents are pentons reagent feso4 by h2o2 and next one serex reagents pcc in dichloromethane and next one is moderate reagents are dmso in the presence of cocl2 in triethylamine next one mno2 these are the important important that is the moderating reagents and very most important that is copper moderate reagent is that is the copper at 300 degree centigrade copper at 300 degree centigrade primary alcohols react with copper in the presence of 300 degree centigrade to give aldehydes example ethyl alcohol in the presence of copper at 300 degree centigrade to give aldehydes and h2 gas and secondary alcohols and oxidation means secondary alcohols react with copper in the presence of 300 degree centigrade to give ketones and tertiary alcohols and oxidation with copper at 300 degree centigrade to give alkenes it is a very very most important students copper that is the moderating reagent copper at 300 degree centigrade primary alcohols and oxidation to give aldehydes secondary alcohols and oxidation to give ketones and tertiary alcohols and oxidation copper at 300 degree centigrade the uh, copper at 300 degree centigrade to give alkene it is the dehydration it is a dehydration reaction it is called dehydration reaction tertiary alcohol react tertiary alcohols in the presence of copper at 300 degree centigrade tertiary alcohols in the presence of copper at 300 degree centigrade to give alkenes it is the dehydration reaction it is very very most important that is a copper is the moderating moderate moderate oxidizing reagents these are the important reagents students next one now that is next one that is mild oxidizing agent next topic is now student next one now mild oxidizing reagents what are the mild oxidizing reagents mild oxidizing reagents are that is tolens reagent mild oxidizing reagents are tolens reagent it is silver miller test that is ammonical silver nitrate ammonical silver nitrate the mixture of agno3 plus nh4oh that is called ammonia uh, that, is, that is the complex is formed ag diammonia silver ion so it is the tolens reagent it reduce it is oxidized only for aldehydes it oxidized only for ox it is oxidized only for aldehydes tolens reagent oxidized to all aliphatic and aromatic aldehydes students tolens reagent oxidized to all aliphatic and aromatic aldehydes unsaturated aldehyde can also be oxidized to unsaturated acid but double bond is not affected but double bond is not affected it is a tolens reagent student tolens reagent oxidized to all aliphatic and aromatic aldehyde it is a very very most important tolens reagents are 
oxidized to all aliphatic and aromatic aldehydes and another thing important unsaturated aldehydes can also be oxidized to unsaturated acid but double bond is not affected so double bond is cannot cleavage so here this is the very most important next one is mild oxidizing reagent is failing solution failing solution it is also only for aliphatic it is only for aliphatic tolens reagent it is only for aliphatic this failing solution that is here two types are there failing solution a failing solution b failing solution a that is copper sulfate solution cso4 5h2 that is blue vitriol it is very most important copper sulfate solution penta dihydrate copper sulfate that is failing solution a what about the failing solution b it is failing solution b is sodium hydroxide failing solution b sodium hydroxide alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate alkaline solution of alkaline solution of alkaline solution of soda uh, alkaline solution of sodium potassium tartrate also called rochel salt these are the important mild oxidizing reagents that is tolens reagents and failing reagents that is the uh, tolens reagent that is white color that is silver mirror test white precipitate is formed on all here it oxidized only for aldehydes both aliphatic and aromatic failing solutions it oxidized only for aldehydes failing solution to oxidize for only for aldehyde is aldehyde is converted into acids that is reddish brown color failing solution color is a reddish brown color it is also important mild oxidizing agent students now, now next one is next <coughs> next excuse me next one sorry next test is bendix solution next one is mild oxidizing agent is bendix solution it is solution is it is solution of copper sulfate and sodium citrate and sodium carbonate it is solution of copper sulfate comma sodium citrate and sodium carbonate these are also two types bendix solution a bendix solution b what about that bendix solution a that is potassium bendix solution a that is di sorry pentahydrate copper sulfate CSO4 5H2 it is blue vitriol and bendix solution B that is potassium or sodium citrate potassium or sodium citrate it is also oxidized with it is also oxidizing agent it is oxidized only for aldehydes it is only for aldehyde that is only for aliphatic aldehydes only both both failing solution and bendix solution oxidized to only for aliphatic compounds only for aliphatic aldehydes not aromatic next one is now shift reagent shift reagent that is para rosalin it is pink color it it reduces sorry it oxidizes only for aldehydes cannot oxidize its ketones it oxidizes only for aldehydes these are the moderated sorry mild oxidizing reagents students and next one now next one last topic is now oxidation of per iodic acid oxidation of per iodic acid oxidation of per iodic acid that is first one is oxidative cleavage per iodic acid is only for oxidative cleavage that is here i gave that is the example is glycol it is bond cleavage here this is primary alcohols on oxidation primary alcohol on oxidation to give aldehyde and it is only only one step reaction primary alcohol it is it is hio4 is per iodic acid is oxidative cleavage you bond cleavage here bond cleavage here this primary alcohol is converted into aldehyde these both are oxidized to form only aldehydes then next second example here also primary alcohol it is secondary alcohol primary alcohols on oxidation to give acid sorry aldehyde primary alcohols on oxidation to give aldehyde then next one is now second bond cleavage two types cleavage here only one type here and here also cleavage is there two cleavages are there first cleavage is to form aldehyde and second carbon here secondary alcohol is there secondary alcohol is converted into secondary oh, here secondary alcohols to form it is also oxidized aldehyde group these are the per iodic acid now take the another example is here here further step also there it is also oxidized aldehyde again oxidation to form carbon dioxide so not, cannot bond cleavage here so here cannot bond cleavage only only one reaction then next one next example is that is here glycerol is, glycerol is there ch2oh primary alcohol secondary alcohol and primary alcohol again 
here two types of cleavage here also one cleavage here also one cleavage in first step is that is it is primary alcohols on oxidation is aldehyde secondary alcohols on oxidation for secondary alcohol oxidation to give ketones ketones again further oxidation to form carboxylic acid here two steps reaction secondary alcohols always two steps reaction secondary alcohols secondary alcohol on oxidation with hio4 paraidic acid to give acid sorry ketones ketone again oxidation to give acid next one how here primary alcohols on oxidation primary and secondary alcohols on oxidation with hio4 para per iodic acid to give aldehydes or ketones aldehydes again oxidation to give acid aldehydes to give an oxidation to give acid a secondary alcohol sorry secondary alcohols on oxidation to give ketones these are the important students per, per iodic acid also important oxidizing reagent these are the very very most important reagents of organic compounds students oxidation of organic chemistry students if you like my video please subscribe my channel and please comment and like well thank you